hidden beneath the surface of this field are the remains of almost 6,000 years of human activity. Hi everyone, we are still in Wiltshire and we are at we are at Woodhenge, Woodhenge and Durrington Walls. And Durrington Walls. Have a quick look around Woodhenge and Durrington Walls. Not much to see, but it, as you were saying earlier on, it's a really historic site. Uh, probably just as important, if not more, so than Stonehenge itself. So we'll have a look around. Here we go. Okay, we're going through this field. If I can open it, there we go. There should be a fallen sarsen up there somewhere. Fallen sarsen, yeah. Hidden beneath the surface of this field are the remains of almost 6,000 years of human activity. You are here. So we're here. So Durrington Walls circulates where we are. The big enclosure of Durrington Walls. It also includes Woodhenge, the Cuckoo Stone, which is, I think, just over there. Probably buried. And... Durrington Wolves was huge, absolutely huge. I can have a look at the cookie stone. What's interesting, we're always harking on about Avebury all the time, because that's my you know, home away from home. But we haven't really explored the Stonehenge area in that much detail over the years, so it's something interesting to come to somewhere that's familiar, but also quite new. You know? mm. So I'm going to have a walk up to the cuckoo stone, and there's a barrow well just over there. Oh it's warm. It's warm. I'll do a bit of dowsing around there in a second. That's okay. straight. Look at the stone. Yeah really warm sarsen. Really warm. And it's not been a very warm day. No it's been a bit very blow we're up on the Salisbury Plain. Okay I'm just going to douse around the uh, stone find out if there's an earth energy line coming through. I'm going to ask if it's going to the right first of all. So you can still see me. Can you show me where the earth energy current comes through please to the right. The earth energy current where it comes through to the right please. That's there. I'll do it from the other side. Show me where the earth energy current is coming through to the left please. To the left. To the left. Thank you. This is part of a wider stone circle. So we're going through here. Okay. You said, but just watch the puddle. Oh, puddle! No, he's looking for a little round barrow or a long. No, it's a long barrow, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on. What's this? Uh, oh, military land bylaws. Mil okay. We're using an OS map to uh, look for this long barrow, which is nearby on the little trackway. This way, eventually, we get back to Stonehenge if we wanted to. Oh, into open fields. Okay, we're at the coordinates where the long barrow is supposed to be, but there's no evidence it is still here, so it could have been plundered centuries ago. But they found archaeology and remains. Yeah, recently. No. No, I think that's it. Yeah. I think that is definitely it because of the random fence. Mm -hmm. The fact that you've got a piece of field fenced off for no apparent reason. So we're here. So we're basically where that arrow is, mm -hmm. and obviously the camera's put the the phone's pointing this way. That's Long Barrow, which is ahead yeah. of us. This is the trees that you can see over on yeah, the right. Yeah, I can see the I can see where I think where the barrow might have been. So that sort of makes sense because the barrow is here, although there's nothing remained. You've got right in the distance, you probably see Stonehenge in the background. So it could be still one of the tumuli or burial mounds as part of the ancient landscape. Mm. But yeah, nothing left of the barrow these at the, the, the moment. 
it is straight in line with if you think of where the henge is and then this barrow and where we've just come from the cuckoo stone mm -hmm. that is a fairly accurate line remarkably straight line okay so nice little trip up to find a long barrow that wasn't there anymore Oops. but we're going to have a look back at uh, Woodhenge and then over to Durrington Walls These are just post holes, aren't they, really? Mm. Where uh, an encampment would have been. Very much like the sanctuary at Avebury. So it could have been a wooden structure on the outer edges of the Stonehenge landscape. So just got post holes where the timber structures would have originally been. Standing in the entrance to a timber monument with six oval rings of posts built about the same time as Stonehenge. We're not sure how uh, Woodhenge was actually used. Oh, sun's come out. But they found animal bones and objects and uh, things. It might just have been a settlement, nothing uh, spiritual. We're heading over there towards Durrington Walls. So Durrington Walls is the site of a large Neolithic settlement, uh, later Henge enclosure, and it's part of the Stonehenge World Heritage Site. Um, it is the second largest late Neolithic palisaded enclosure in the United Kingdom after Hindwell in Wales. And it was excavated by the University of Sheffield between 2004 and 2006 and revealed seven houses. But it has been suggested that the settlement may have originally had up to a thousand houses and perhaps 4,000 people. Durrington Walls would have just taken over this entire site. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I hope you can hear us, it's really windy up here um, on the plains. We're saying this is the largest settlement in North Europe, isn't it? It's just bonkers. In Neolithic times, the largest settlement in Europe. It's just immense. Yeah. See the earthwork in the background weaves around that bank in the distance and goes around in a circumference. Huge site, huge. Yeah, hoping you can still hear us. So there you go, a little quick trip to uh, Woodhenge, Durrington Walls, and uh, the Cuckoo Stone. Um, very quick, very blowy up here. It's mm. been delightful. Amazing. We've got Incredible a lot place. of work to do here. I'd love to come do a lot of dowsing. Um, yeah, it's been great. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Cheerio.